Hello, today I'm going to answer a question about systemic lupus rheumatoidus and seizures. <clears throat> um, somebody was asking me about them um, because I have central nervous system lupus. Um, so I have systemic lupus, rheumatoidus, central nervous system lupus, which is not that, it's kind of rare, but um, it does happen. Um, due to my lupus, I I got, uh, I, I had seizures, and um, the seizures, I started having them when I was 13, and um, some sometimes I wouldn't have them for months at a time or even years, and then they would come back. Um, they were grand mal and petite mal seizures um, where I was completely unconscious. Sometimes I would become unconscious but look like I was awake and sort of like stare off into the distance. Um, they, they were very scary, and, um, when I was a teenager, I did get some medic medicine called Dilantin for them, and it didn't work, and after that, uh, my life got kind of crazy, so I pretty much just dealt with them, which was dangerous, because you can stop breathing when you have seizures, um, you can get brain damage, and all kinds of stuff. Thank God that didn't happen to me. I guess an angel was watching over me because um, I, I made it through. Um, over the last uh, four or five years, the seizures got so bad that I was having about 18 to 20 of them a month, um, which is a horrendous amount of seizures. And um, they just wouldn't stop. I'd be home alone and fall over and hit my head. Or I'd be out in a restaurant eating and fall on the salad, get salad dressing all over myself. Or you know, all kinds of stuff. I stopped driving the car. I became afraid to drive the car because, you know, I could have had a seizure when I was driving. So I would only drive in town on days that I felt really great. Um, before I had the seizures, I would get like an aura. Everything would get kind of like foggy and there would be some type of aura going on. And then I would uh, fall over. Um, and when I mean fall over, I don't mean gracefully, like in the movies, fall down and just collapse. I mean, I just boom. And I injured myself. Um, I cut myself really bad on the hand one time. I hit my head, bit my lip open here, um, had bruises all over the place. It was a really tough time for my family. Um, and uh, eventually what happened was in back in July, I had a seizure and ended up in the intensive, intensive station. And uh, and then I had another one and had to go to a bigger hospital in an ambulance. And then I finally got some really great medicine called Keppra. And I haven't had a seizure since. I have had some other neurological involvement. Um, for example, um, sometimes I find I can't speak well, um, which is horrible for me because all y'all know I like to talk. <laughs> um, some days I wake up and have like a brain fog, which is lupus brain fog they call it where you just are uncoordinated and on days like that I um I just stay in bed I don't do anything I don't attempt to make dinner I might burn the house down um I don't drive the car anymore I'm not allowed to drive it for 18 months and after I've had my last seizure according to German law which is good because I don't want to end up killing anybody or killing myself by having a seizure in the car it's not worth it um uh, after I had seizures, I would wake up and not be able to speak. Um, people were asking me about that. How does that work? Why can't you speak? And, um, you'll excuse me, the cat, <laughs> he really wants out. Anyway, um, I've been taking the seizure medicine since July, like they said, and it's worked really well. Another neurological symptom I have is sometimes tingling in my hands. Sometimes I can't feel portions of my face. Sometimes I get Horn Horner syndrome, which is when your eye swells and then recedes into your eye, into your socket, and then your face will hang. I also get palsy. It means my face hangs, and it looks like I've had some kind of stroke, even though I haven't. That's because the nerves swell up in there. That's also a neurological uh, symptom of it. Sometimes I can't walk well. I feel like I'm walking on a ship. And um, on these days, I, it's a no-go. I'm on the couch, and um, I don't have many of those days anymore, and I'm very thankful for it. Um, so that's basically what happens with the seizures and the lupus and the neurological involvement. If you have more questions about that, 
then uh, you guys can ask me and I'll make a video.